Coach Reddick, the first off, what is a G-Man? I, I know what a G-Man is because I saw like the Sherlock right the, Holmes thing looking <laughs> guy on the singlet. What's a G-Man? Right on the spot. Uh, it's like a federal a federal inspector back in the day. Our whole mascot is based around a uh, an old an FBI. It's a like Sherlock the Holmes looking guy, yeah, right? That's what it is. Yes. That's exactly what it I is. I love it. It's unique. I interviewed Beanie Wells and I was almost like, oh, were you a G? I didn't say it. But I thought about is he a G-Man? No, Beanie Wells was Akron Garfield. The other Garfield. Yes. Well, there's the other, there's Garfield Heights. Whenever we say Garfield instead of Garrisville, that's what our program is. Oh, your kid goes to Garfield? Different Garfield. Yeah, that's an Akron, that's, right? So Beanie- That's the prominent, they were more prominent than us in football until recently. Yeah, I mean, that guy, did, first of all, did you see all the Ohio State former players here? Did you get to see those guys? No. They're they're on uh, Westerville. Eagles, West they're a green okay. team. When you see all the NFL looking guys, it's because they're NFL Westerville. guys. <laughs> yeah, and then all their <laughs> no, kids play. That. Yes. All at Westerville. Yes, Westerville. Check them out. They're the oh. big division 12 U, I want to say. We'll check so. that out. Yeah. All right, Coach Reddick, what are you ultimately, you guys are in a small division, right? Uh, so 11U Division 2. So you're D2, you're middle? Yeah. Well, no, no, there's only two. In there's the only one and two. Okay. Yeah. So you're the small division. We're small, yeah. Uh, biggest thing, you know, you're playing against a lot bigger schools. What do you want the kids to get out of it? Uh, I was just wanting them to get the experience out here in the state level tournament. We tossed the idea around uh, last year at the end of our season, a really good year. We just wanted them to get in that competition outside of uh, our league because we haven't brought a team out here since 2013. I mean, ultimately, we had bigger goals than them to compete and you know win, but we just wanted to get them out here, start making this like an annual thing, and just compete. That's all. Playing blind. Is it, is it terrifying playing a team that you have no idea about? Uh, it is what it is because they're playing us too, and then a lot of them don't know us. So it's fun. It's different. Like I said, a lot of only one of our parents has ever been out here before, and that's the only experience we have with any of this. So it's it, it's unique, but we love it. What do you think of the facilities here in Sandusky? Uh, we, we said we need one of these in Garrettsville, but I don't think it'll happen. This is I mean, I think more wishful <laughs> would be like maybe like Akron, Cleveland, <laughs> Canton. Yeah, no, this is this is wonderful, and the weather today, it's a little windy, but... Uh, I'll take it. We run that heavy offense and don't throw it a lot, so this is perfect weather for Hand us. Hand the ball off. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, when you guys come out here, and ultimately I'm talking about these NFL guys, I'm talking to the last guy was a diesel mechanic from Grand, Coach Bennett, talking to you. What do you do for a living? Uh, deliver pop, semi-driver. You're a semi-driver? Yeah. So I don't think people get this. Oh, yeah. That's the most common job. That's the, the most people that are employed in America are if it's a male between like 18 to 55 that's the most we need you yeah if you guys don't deliver stuff we don't get things i don't get I don't my mountain yeah. dew i don't get my mountain dew without you um that's yeah. an important job though yeah. really important job it's a hustle job right oh yeah everything's like on a timeline get it done and get to practice too right but yeah. life after football being a truck driver you can provide for your family last guy a diesel mechanic some of these other i have a sports agents today yeah. Well, the guys is a sports agent. A little bit of everyone here. Right? NFL guys. It's like crazy. Everyone's all across the board. I was raised by a union iron worker. So yeah. this is important to take these lessons and apply them to life. What do you want the kids to take from the sport of football and apply to life after football? Uh, just the teamwork. Working together. Because uh, you're going to do it in football. You're going to do it in school. You're going to do it at your job. You can do it everywhere you go. Even if you're working by yourself, you're really never working by yourself. There's other people involved. So just want them to take the teamwork and just build upon it and everything they do. I think I live like 20 minutes from you. Yeah. How far are you guys? Where are you? I'm in uh, Geauga County. Geauga, almost right on the border. Northern yeah. Border share. Yeah. So yep. you guys, I'm only like 20 minutes. You're, uh, you're by Nelson's Legends, aren't you? Yeah, that's right down the road. Yeah. yeah, so that's 20 minutes from my house. Yep. We're neighbors. Love it out there. I, listen, if you <laughs> like being left alone, if you like being left alone, it's the spot. You get your 20 minutes away, but you get double the snow. It's crazy. Yeah, our elevation tire. You can have that. <laughs> you can have the extra snow. Next game. Ironton. Iron, you guys are playing Ironton. We're playing Ironton next, yeah. Did you have one already? Yeah. How'd we you played do? earlier. Uh, we beat Perry 7 nothing. Scored late in the game. Barn great, burner. Great yeah. Defensive battle. Great game. Field 6 is cursed with points, uh, actually, today. Holy I think smokes. Overtime 6 0 game to start the day with Geneva and uh, Lakewood, and then 7 0. And when I left the Crestwood game, it was 6 0. You got the win, right? Ultimately, if you win again, you're in the state finals tomorrow. Yeah. What do you say to the kids? Just do what you did the first game. Come out and play hard. Have fun. I mean, don't I don't change know, I don't know about seven nothing, but <laughs> do what you gotta do. A win's a win. Forty nine nothing, seven nothing, two nothing. 
That would be a little funner, it's, it's, but uh, it's actually very true. Yeah. Two nothing wins the game. It's a safety. <laughs> All right, you got anything else for me? That's it. Good luck to you guys moving forward. Thank you for the time. All right, thank you. <laughs>